Miguel is celebrating their 15th year anniversary. That is really saying something in the restaurant world. I mean, bravo, right? So they're Thank doing you. a greatest hits menu. They've got a special seated dinner that you can be a part of. We got a little steam going. <laughs> We've got Chef Jason like Good to see it. you. Yes. Good Thank to you, see Carol. You. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so good. First of all, yeah. bravo. You Thank guys you. have really carved out a beautiful spot for yourselves, not just over right here off Charlotte Avenue, yeah. which is very unsuspecting. You have a barn and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah. in the food scene, you've got a following. Yeah, and it's kind of like a sleeper hit. I mean, I, I've talked to chefs that say, oh, where are you at now? And I say, Miel, and they're like, oh, is that new? And I'm like, no, no, it's not. But it's kind of like this, this kind of, you it's, have to know somebody kind of thing. I was going to say, if you know, you know, because we're taking pictures yeah. here. Um, now, this, you don't see any of this from the street. No. Nope. You know, this mm -mm. beautiful back patio, you have a barn yeah. that you can dine in and enjoy in this beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. But you're right, you're right here in the urban Nashville yeah. area of West and Nashville. And 15 years ago, it wasn't... Um, an up and it wasn't even an up and coming neighborhood. Right, it was so, just a hood. Yeah, <laughs> so it was a it was a pretty gutsy move on the owner's part, Seema. And um, I've only been with this restaurant for going on three years, so I can't take the credit. Uh, Seema has been there since day one, and it's just incredible. Yeah, that, but um, they have. But you've been you've been holding the torch for three three years and, and cultivating this great menu. Talk about what we're making today, and then we'll dive in okay. on this sort of greatest hits menu that's coming up next week. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do a bouillon base, okay. um, and this is gonna be a simple version that we can do at home. Um, it's, it seems intimidating. You'll read recipes and cookbooks where, you know, it's an arm long. Um, this is simple. It's not dumbed down. Um, this is just something that you can do and you're not going to lose flavor. It's very intense and uh, user friendly. Okay, tell yeah. us how to do it. Okay, so uh, I've got a broth going here that mm. this is a fortified broth that we've been using over and over again. We just continue to add fish uh, scrap, fish heads, anything that we break down on a lean fish, the body goes into this broth. Um, and then when we peel shrimp, lobster, if we have crab shells, all that gets toasted off and that gets added to it as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I've got shrimp here that are unpeeled. These are uh, peeled shrimp. When I cook at home even, I always get the easy peel shrimp where it's split down the middle, mm -hmm. just like a cocktail shrimp. Okay. And that's so that I can use the shells even at home. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. See, and this is really kind of a zero waste way or to get the best flavor out of stuff. Correct. Okay, so yeah. you've got a whole bunch of shells here. Yep, these have been toasted off in the oven. No oil or anything like that. Just throw them on a pan, put them in a hot oven, take them out when they start to smell good. Okay. Okay. Um, so and they're going to smell, if I toast the shells, they're going to smell good. Yeah, they really are. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about this. I've never and tried that before. You don't have to do that either, and it's still going to taste good. Yeah, but I, uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Just yeah. take a few, if you don't have to oil it or anything, just toss it in the oven. That's mm -hmm. great. Okay. So, so that's, it's you putting those shells down, mm -hmm. and then how long does that, sort? how long do you let that sort of seep in there? Something like this, it doesn't take long. Okay. Um, an hour, you're probably going to get as much flavor out of those shells. Gotcha. Um, you can let it go longer. Right. Longer's better, but really after an hour, you're going to... It does the job. Yeah. Okay. So then when we strain it and we want to use this, what will we mm -hmm. use this for? Uh, we would definitely use it for uh, bouillabaisse. base. You could use it for chipino, for um, if you want to do a clam chowder. Yeah. If you want to add a little bit of extra flavor it's to like that. It's like chicken broth, but it's got the shrimp and the yeah. seafood. Okay. Yeah. What other Very steps versatile. involved? Anything else? Nope. We're going to leave that right there like that. And chill. now we can make the stew. Okay. Um, this is really simple. Um, I've got the shrimp peeled, ready to go. Um, this is some chopped up octopus. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So okay. when you go to a restaurant, typically everybody wants like the really nice, pretty tentacle. Mm -hmm. Well, there's more on, like an octopus yeah. has an enormous head, right? Right. So let's use everything, everything but the beak. That looks a little meatier. I'm kind of enjoying that, to be honest. Yes, <laughs> like this is really, um, it does have a really nice uh, meaty texture okay, to it. Okay, mussels. Mussels. These are main mussels, so they're uh, bigger, they're meatier. Um, nice. So I'm going to get okay. that started yeah, over here. Well, no, you can no. stay right there. Yeah. I'll move. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to put some of the hot broth right into this. Yeah. 
Let's until do that. the shrimp is completely cooked, until the mussels open. Just cooks in the hot broth. Taste it. If it needs salt, it needs salt. And then we're going to mount with butter, which okay. is, this is just butter that's been mixed with saffron. saffron. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's just. It's yeah. just. Okay, so while he does that, I want to talk about this greatest hits menu. So if you know, and you know, Miel, um, there have been some menu items over the years that customers just really loved. Mm -hmm. And so you're bringing it back. And it's available next week. So all next week, you've got kind of your greatest hits menu. Then there's a ticketed cocktail hour and seated dinner happening on September the 9th. You can go to mielrestaurant.com. You can follow them on the socials, at Miel Restaurant. Get in on this. Also, see, if you miss out on this experience, you guys have food experiences that go on throughout the year. Like oh, sure. special dinners yeah. and things like that. Lots of wine tastings and pairings like that. I saw mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I, I, saw, I saw the ones that previously happened in the year, so I'm already mm -hmm. excited about what you guys have coming yeah. up this fall. So be sure to check their website. Um, there's a reason they've been around for 15 years and continue to go strong. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef. Yeah. Oh, it's This is coming good. to a simmer. Um, <laughs> something really exciting is our... Uh, we are the first restaurant in Tennessee to be a part of, to be recognized by the Surfrider Foundation. And that's surfrider.org, and we're part of um, the restaurants that are recognized by that. Oh, that's And incredible. that is a completely ocean safe restaurant. So we minimize waste, zero plastic, um, disposable to goes. All that good stuff. I love so it. So hopefully we're not the last either. No, let's yeah. bring more to the table on that, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for all you do. Thanks for so having cool. us. So cool. Have a great yeah. next week, right? Yeah, sounds right. Sounds fun. Yeah. So that sounds fun. And